Today, we will be setting up the procedure tray for a transperineal prostate biopsy using the Precision Point Access System from Perineologic. First, we will cover the table with a sterile drape. We will be throwing the necessary instruments and materials out onto the sterile drape before setting it all up. First is a 30cc syringe which will be filled with 20cc of 1% lidocaine. This will be used for the local block. Next is the dura prep which will be used on the skin of the perineum. Then we will open the packaging of the Precision Point Access System. We will bring out the biopsy gun, which in this case is a barred disposable biopsy instrument, 18 gauge and 20 centimeters in length. Next is the spinal needle, thin walled, 20 gauge, and 6 inches. Then we will prep the gloves for the surgeon. We obtain the loading needle, which is 18 gauge by 1 inch, and this will be used to load the 1% lidocaine. Also, we will obtain a 27 gauge needle, half an inch in length, and this will be used to inject a skin wheel at the site of entry of the access needle. We use these little blue sterile sponges to place the biopsy cores upon once they have been taken. We also use two clipboards to place the sponges on to keep track of the sector which is being sampled. A 60cc catheter tip syringe is loaded with 40cc of lubrication to assist the ultrasound probe with entering the rectum. The nurse puts on their sterile gloves before finishing up the setup. The first thing that will be used will be the Dura Prep and then the lubrication slurry. We assemble the precision point carriage and load the access needle into the aperture second from the bottom, but this will differ depending on the preference of the surgeon. Next, we make sure to load the biopsy gun. Then, we place a single sponge on each of the sectors that will be biopsied. Lastly, the 18 gauge needle will be used to load 20 cc of 1% lidocaine into the 30 cc syringe.